guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this mermaid-inspired Halloween look. I saw so many pictures on Google that I was very inspired by with all these rhinestones and the pearls. I even remembered that I had this tika in my stash of jewelry and it worked so perfectly with everything that I'm wearing. So I kind of wanted to add a little bit of a cultural twist to my look and I love it. I also went ahead and gave myself some mermaid waves, which I love. This is the first time that I tried something like this on my hair and I honestly did it just so it kind of goes with the whole look. I'm quite obsessed with how everything turned out from my top to my crown to my makeup look. And yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. To start off, I'm just priming my eyelids with some Tarte Shape Tape. I love using this concealer to prime my eyes because it is matte and it just does not budge and it's just a perfect base for a dramatic eye makeup look. I'm just going in with the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions and Sapphire Obsessions palette. I dipped into that really light mint shade in the Emerald Obsessions palette and just packed it into my crease and I'm just buffing it out to give a really nice transition shade. Next, I'm dipping into that beautiful teal shade in the Emerald Obsessions palette and I'm just packing that into my crease just to deepen the colors up a little bit. I'm also just starting to create the outer V using that same shade. Next, I'm dipping into the darkest shade in the Sapphire Obsessions palette and I'm just deepening up the outer V, kind of giving it a smokier look. Then I'm going into this beautiful shimmer teal shade and just packing that in the centers of my lid. Finally, I'm going into this beautiful shimmery mint shade and just packing that in the inner corners. I just wanted more of a gradient look, so I was using a lighter shade. Voila! I'm just using a makeup wipe to wipe off all of the follow on my face and then I'm just going into skin prep. I am using the MAC Cosmetics Strobe Cream in Gold Light. I love this as a moisturizer because it gives a beautiful glow. For my primer, I am going in with the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. I love this primer because it is a thicker consistency and it's just amazing as a primer. It also gives a beautiful glow. For my foundation, okay. Hey babe. Someone likes to interrupt. For my foundation, I did go in with the Makeup Forever Velvet Matte Foundation in the shade Y455 and Y505. I did mix a little bit of the darker shade and I'm just mixing it up and applying that onto my skin. The shade is a pretty close match when it is winter. I am still a little bit tanned. I am going in with my favorite beauty sponge, the LC Cosmetics Velvet Sponge and just blending out the foundation. I love how this foundation looks on my skin, super full coverage and matte and just covers everything up. I would definitely recommend this foundation if you guys are looking for something full coverage. For my concealer, I am going in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 350. And I'm just applying that underneath my eye and I'm just using it to carve out the eye makeup and just clean it up. I'm also applying it on my chin just to brighten up those areas, including my nose and my forehead. Then I'm going in with the NYX foundation stick in Espresso just to cream contour. Unfortunately, this product does not exist and was discontinued, but I still have it, so I use it. And I'm just blending everything out. I do start off by blending out my cream contour just because if it does get a little bit too dark, I then go in and blend in my concealer to give back my natural color. Then I'm just going in with the pointed side of the sponge and I'm just blending out my concealer. I know it looks super, super pointy, but it is not sharp whatsoever. It is super soft and safe to use in those areas. To set my under eyes, I am using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in Blondie and I'm just packing it underneath my eyes. 
I'm not really baking, I wouldn't say. I didn't leave this powder on for too long, but I'm just packing it in just so it sets everything beautifully. And to set my entire face, I'm going in with the MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Powder in NC50. I'm also just using that powder to wipe off the setting powder underneath my eyes so it doesn't look too bright. And now for the fun part, I'm using a fishnet to create scales all over my face, specifically in the cheekbone area and my forehead. And oh my god, this was such a process. I honestly could not even breathe. Um, and I couldn't even see properly because this fishnet was all up in my areas, but I did it for the look. And yeah, I look crazy. I'm just going into the Emerald Obsessions palette and taking that teal shade to create a contoured look. Next, I'm going into this beautiful lime green shimmery shade just to give a more gradient look and I guess more of a highlight. I'm literally just applying that all over my face. Also got my chin and my jawline just to give a more sculpted look. And finally, I get to take this shit off. Ole! You could tell I was pretty impressed. Shout out to Nadoon for giving me the idea of applying this all over my face. Yeah, yeah. For my highlight, I am going in with this Bare Minerals highlighter. I believe it's called Fiery and just applying it in the usual areas I apply my highlight, my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow. For my blush, I'm just going in with the Buxom Cosmetics Wonderless Blush in Mykonos and I'm just applying it on my cheeks just to give a little bit of color. I'm just continuing with my eye makeup look and I'm just using that beautiful teal shade in the Emerald Obsessions palette and just blending it underneath my eyes. Then I'm going in with a flat brush to use a darker blue shade. I wanted a more gradient look underneath my eyes as well. I wanted all the colors to pop, so I was using thinner brushes, more detailing brushes, and okay, someone's interrupt. Okay, this guy just loves interrupting my videos, but nice tats, buddy. Get out of my video, get out. And I'm just continuing blending underneath my eyes with that teal shade and going back in with the blue shade. Then I went back into that shimmery lime green shade and popped it into my brow bone area for a nice highlight, as well as my cupid's bow. Then I'm going in with this beautiful silver eyeliner. It is the NARS Longwear High Pigment Liner, and I'm just putting that in my waterline. For my mascara, I am going in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. For lashes, I am using the Lily Lashes in Barcelona. The style is so beautiful, so wispy. Not too dramatic, I wouldn't say, but it was perfect for this look. I just love how everything looks, oh my god. For my lips, I'm going in with the MAC Chestnut Lip Liner to line my lips and just give it more plump look. I love this lip liner, it just is perfect for every shade. Then I'm going in with the Kylie Cosmetics Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick in Bare. It's this beautiful nude pink shade and honestly, this is probably one of my favorite liquid lipsticks at the moment. Such a beautiful formula and color. Mm hmm pout girl, pout. And for the what I thought was going to be the fun part, just adding rhinestones to my look. I thought this was going to be super easy, but they were so hard to stick on, they were just falling everywhere. But I managed and I didn't really have a pattern in mind, I just kind of was going with the flow and I really really liked how it turned out. I also used pearl rhinestones to stick on the sides of my face. Yeah, yeah. And that is it guys, this is the look, oh nope it's not, okay. Um, I did go in with a MAC pigment uh, to give a more metallic look on my lips. Okay, this is the finished look. I love how everything turned out. So that is it for the makeup portion of this look. I did take it a step further and created a crown. Um, this crown, I did not expect it to look as good as it does, but you know, your girl loves some arts and crafts and I got a little creative and I did have some inspo but I love how this crown turned out. 
And along with this, I actually have a Tika that goes perfectly with this entire look. This is by Anya Jewelry and they gave it to me a while ago and I did create a look with this and I'm so happy that I get to use it again because it just looks so good together. This is what it looks like and oh my god, it looks so good. So this is it guys, this is the completed look of my mermaid inspired Halloween costume. I hope you guys like it. I really love how everything turned out. When I was planning this costume or look or whatever, I was really nervous because I feel like I was just, it was just very complicated in my head. But when I sat down to just put this top together and put my crown together and just planning out my makeup look, it was honestly, it was very easy. And this costume did not take me long to make. It took me about an hour and a half to put the crown and the top together. This makeup look didn't take me much long either. It took me probably three hours. Just kidding. It was not three hours. It was probably about an hour and a half as well. And yeah, it's not, it's not that hard. It's very time efficient. If you're looking for something last minute to do, have some time to go to the craft store and pick some stuff up, then I would highly recommend this look. If you guys are, oh my God, my crayon is falling off. If you guys are looking to create this look or are inspired by the look that I created, then please do tag me if you are posting a video or pictures because I would love to see them. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do have a lot more content coming out. And I would also really appreciate it if you can leave a like and comment your suggestions down below. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.